If you've played Kerbal Space Program for a while, you may have asked yourself a question. Should you be putting fairings on your spacecraft in order to improve aerodynamics or to reduce drag? Now, today I wanted to investigate this scientifically by basically launching a very similar rocket using um, fairings or no fairings. So we're going to do this, launch a few times and calculate if there is any difference between using fairings, not using fairings or using fairings and releasing them at a specific time during your ascent to orbit. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And the first craft we're going to launch is going to be this. We're going to actually remove this completely, reattach this. And so imagine we're launching this small satellite into orbit using nothing but an orange tank and a regular uh, skipper engine. Now, most people, when they start the game, they usually construct something like this. And uh, here, the problem is that because these parts are so flat, they actually increase the drag in the lower atmosphere and they may, may actually decrease the efficiency of your rocket as well. But at the same time, because fairings are actually relatively heavy, so if you reattach the fairings that I just removed, they actually weigh a few tons. And so there might be um, a question of whether it's actually efficient to use them or if it's better to just ignore them altogether. So let's actually start our first launch. And to make this experiment more scientifically accurate, we're going to be using a MacJap ascent guidance here and the autopilot that will always use the same ascent path. It's going to look exactly like this. We're not going to use anything else like terminal velocity limit or, uh, or any other of these options because we want this to be as consistent as possible. So let's start our first ascent and we're going to be looking at uh, the amount of delta V left by the time we get into orbit of 80 kilometers. And so this is our first attempt. I'm going to skip to the part where we are in orbit just to show you how much delta V is left because this is going to be our comparison amount of delta V. I've done this actually a few times and I think I should have around 1200 meters per second left, but let's see what we get this time. All right, and around 20 kilometers, this is what starts happening. We actually are going so fast that um, there is quite a lot of drag here and also basically the, our rocket starts burning. Now, this can actually uh, slow down your ship and you can obviously waste a lot of fuel because of this. This is uh, why sometimes it's better to use a terminal velocity limit. But I just wanted to see if, you know, a regular launch, a regular manual launch would actually um, be different if you're launching this with fairings or without fairings. So we're going to not really worry about the terminal velocity just yet. So, right, we're almost in orbit now. And there you go. This is the last part of the orbital burn. And we should have um, a circular orbit around Kerbin with an apoapsis and preapsis of around 80 kilometers. Perfect. That's close enough. So let's take a look at delta V left. It says 1203. Now, now I've done this uh, maybe four or five times, and it's usually between this and 1201. So uh, let's just say the average here is 1202 meters per second. That's if you launch this craft, um, obviously without the fairings and just have a very simple craft uh, made out of a, uh, one simple tank so basically you can then separate your um, little satellite and uh, you know launch it to the moon or whatever you want no okay so that's not really the point here the point here is to see if the fairings actually make a difference let's do this again with the fairings and this particular fairing weighs approximately uh, one ton. So this is an extra one ton of weight, but it will now improve our aerodynamics and reduce drag as well. So let's see how this goes. This is attempt number two. And this is attempt number two using fairings, but this time we're not going to actually release them until we get into orbit. In other words, we're going to keep the fairings on uh, all the way to the orbit and then release them once we're in a circular orbit around Kerbin. So this is not what you should be usually doing, but let's just say you forgot to release them or you just don't really know how to, uh, how, they exa how exactly they work or how to actually use them. So uh, we're going to basically launch our craft and engage autopilot and let's just see how much we will have left if we don't touch these at all until uh, space. And here comes this part where the rocket gets really, really hot and starts burning. But this is where essentially the fairings provide the most support for you because uh, the drag here is much less now. So you are technically losing a lot less fuel because of this burn. But uh, because I'm not going to be releasing these yet, um, we're going to release them after the orbital path has been achieved. They might not be actually as efficient, even though they're providing less drag now. And we're finishing that last burn now. And then we're going to take a look at how much fuel we have left 
having kept the fairings on the spacecraft? And the answer to that is 1159, so 1159. In other words, we just lost about 2% of our fuel. So obviously this is not as efficient as it was without the fairings, but we're not really done yet. And even if I release the fairings now, or actually look at that. <laughs> if I release the fairings in space, it is now up to 1230. So that already means that uh, because I used the fairings, even though I didn't release them early on, as soon as I release them in space, I have now actually gained about 1% fuel. In other words, it's a little bit more efficient if you put fairings, even if they, gain, uh, if they add a little bit of weight. But now let's actually do this again. But this time we're going to release fairings at an altitude of about 40 kilometers after we pass all of the lower atmosphere where most of the drag is experienced. So let's do this attempt number three. And so attempt number three is going to be when we're going to be releasing fairings at an altitude of just over 40 kilometers after the final burn and right before the circularization maneuver because that might actually give us the most efficiency here. So we're basically going to be avoiding the most of the air drags um, and uh, maintaining the most aerodynamic sp spacecraft here. And as soon as all of this is behind us, we're going to release the fairings and decrease our weight as well. So this is technically the most efficient way of doing this. And let's see how much fuel we'll actually gain from all of this. So here comes that big maneuver with the burn. And as soon as that's behind us, we're going to release or deploy uh, the so-called Airstream Protective Shell. So as soon as this is done, as soon as you don't see any more fire and we're above a certain altitude, we're just going to deploy them and reduce our total weight. Okay, so here we go. This is 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, right about now. Let's deploy them. Uh, so we've now decreased our total weight. Uh, there's no, not much air drag on this, um, in this particular altitude here because there's basically almost no atmosphere here. And even though we might lose just like one or two meters per second, um, because of the slight air drag, it's not going to be... Um, uh, significant enough for us to worry about it. So let's just wait for the final circularization maneuver and then look at this final number here. And so here comes the big question or the big answer to the question of fairings. Let's see how much we'll have as soon as the engine is done. All right, so here we go. Ready? One, two, and the answer is 1266. Now, this is about 3% difference from the initial number of 12, 1202. In other words, it is about 3% more efficient for you to use fairings and to drop them off in the upper atmosphere. Um, but even if you do keep them, it's still already more efficient for you to use fairings than to not use fairings. It doesn't matter what type of a shape of a spacecraft you have, uh, unless it's very um, aerodynamic already, unless you're just using like a cabin or something that has a, a nose cone on top of it. Uh, it's very or highly recommended that you do actually use fairings despite this part actually adding about, about, uh, about approximately a ton of weight. Uh, so that hopefully answers the question of fairings and what to do with them and when to release them. So uh, just to summarize this, you basically take off with the fairings, you release them at an altitude of, altitude of about 45 kilometers after you finish your um, final burning maneuver. And then uh, in between then and your circularization maneuver, you should have no fairings on already. And this will obviously decrease your weight for the final final burn so that's all i wanted to investigate and answer and hopefully this video taught you something else about kerbal space program and now you know why fairings are actually kind of important thank you for watching please subscribe if you still haven't i'll see you guys in the next video game you later and don't forget to support this channel on patreon if you would like thank you so much guys game you later and as always bye bye